Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Tech It or Leave It with me James. Today is episode 5 of our Kodi mini-series and we're going to be looking at how you connect a network attached storage device, otherwise known as a NAS, to Kodi by using the Network File System Protocol. Now for short that's actually known as NFS. As you can see I'm already in Kodi and the reason for this is I just wanted to show you that I haven't mapped the video folder from my network attached storage device yet but you will see that I've already done the setup process for my photos and music. So the first step that we actually need to do is the configuration of the video folder on the network attached storage device. To do this I'll first need to log into the system. Now some people watching may already know that this interface is from a Synology NAS, but the process itself should be the same or at least similar in other NAS units available from different manufacturers. Once logged in we will need to go to main menu and then the control panel. Now if you haven't already enabled the NFS system already you will need to do this first by going to file services and then scroll down to NFS and ensure that it has been enabled. Now you will notice it tells us here that where we need to go in order to create the NFS permissions. So what we'll do here is we'll return to the previous screen and choose shared folder. Then we want to click onto the video folder, choose edit, and from the pop-up menu we want to choose NFS permissions. Now from here you want to select create and then this will actually allow us to create an NFS rule for this video folder. So you'll notice you've got hostname or IP address at the very top. You can actually specify a host in three ways. You can do a single host, a wildcard, or you can actually specify a network segment. For this particular one, we want to just do a wildcard, which is using the asterisk. This will then basically allow anything that within our network to connect. We then want to squash or map all users to admin and we want to leave the privilege as read or write. That's all we need to do on this menu so just click OK and then in the following one we can see that it's all been applied so then we just need to click on OK to actually finish those changes. So that's it done with the configuration step for the video folder so it's now moving on to Kodi and we'll actually get the rest done there. Once in Kodi, you will want to select Videos, then Files, then Add Videos, and then from here you can either manually type the IP address or directory, or simply just choose Browse, and then we will choose Network File System. However, before I could do that, Pulsar interrupted me by starting its daemon, which we actually did in the previous episode, so we'll just click on Browse once more. Then we'll choose Network File System, or NFS. This will scan the local area network for my NAS. So you can see it's found the IP address, so I'll click on there, and then it will display all of the folders available that I've set the NFS permissions on. So all I need to do is select Video. And then from here, I can select one of the directories. So obviously I've got movie, sport, and TV shows. So the very first one I'm going to do is to select movie and then click on OK. Now you can see it's put the NFS address in there and you can also enter a name for the media source. I'm just going to add an S so it says movies. Now from here, you need to set the content of what this directory contains. So you choose the scraper which basically will give you all of the information on every movie that's in your library. So I'm just going to choose the default scraper, the movie database. Now on the change content, I don't want it to refresh any of the information because I've already set everything manually to it. So if you haven't done this, click yes and it will use the moviedb.org website to update all of the information. So I'm just going to select no, and then I'm just going to repeat the same process to add the TV shows folder. So that's clicking on add videos, browse, NFS, and then go into the local one and choose TV shows. So obviously you can see the main difference here is I've got a number of folders here, whereas in the movies there wasn't. The reason for that is the movie folder, all of my films are just thrown into one folder, 
whereas my TV shows are set up into subfolders. So I can see it's already called TV shows, I can change that if they want, but I'm just going to leave that as TV shows and click on OK. And then from here I can choose the scraper to be the TVDB, so that's the TV database website. Again I'm going to select no because I don't need to update any of the information. Now from here you can see I've got movies and TV shows. If I right click onto it, I can choose a custom thumbnail so I don't have the uh, the kind of the, the red hard drive looking image on the bottom right corner. But as I don't have any thumbnails, I'm not going to bother and it doesn't really bother me that much. So that's really it. Now that's all permanently set up, so every time I start Kodi, I can just go to video, files, and then choose either movies or TV shows, select the film that I want, and it will start streaming across the network to my Kodi. So that marks the end of the mini-series of Kodi episodes that I've been doing. So there's five episodes in total, which will take you through the installation through to adding your own network attached storage device. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this mini-series, if you do want to see any other types of episodes, please drop a comment below, like the videos, subscribe to the channels, email me, hit me up on Twitter, it's at techorleave, I'll happily answer everyone as quickly as possible, and if you guys have any problems let me know and I'll try my best to help you out as well, take care.